Welcome to Cam Look, coming to you from the Cincinnati Art Museum, where every day we share an object from the permanent collection. Be sure to return daily at 10 a.m. for something new. I'm Julie, a docent at the Cincinnati Art Museum. Today I'd like to talk to you about art interpretation, about how you can bring your own experiences, thoughts, and questions to art. This is something you can do on your own or with a friend the next time you come to the art museum. I saw this painting for the first time in our new postmodern art installation in Gallery 105. It grabbed me because it's contrasty and large. The woman is close to life size, but it keeps me because of what's happening in our lives right now. My first reaction was a smile. This summer, my friend and I have been donning our masks and bobbing around six feet apart in her swimming pool. So it conjures happy memories in that way. Yet I find it oddly disquieting because of its contradictions. On the one hand, the artist has given us a three-dimensional space that looks like a mostly normal vacation spot. The woman looks nonchalant or maybe challenging, alluring and not all at the same time. It has a comical look overall, but it doesn't seem humorous, and the color is a little bit off. Even though I doubt it was the artist's specific intent, my thoughts go to the uncertainty of life during a pandemic. People wearing various types of masks are spaced apart, not interacting, and talking numbers. Or is it an aqua aerobics class on Halloween? Would you jump in? I counted 14 numbers and 14 figures. Maybe they're calling out their identities by number for some reason? The painting was made by contemporary American artist Jane Hammond in 1992. In work done during this period, in addition to limiting her palette to just six colors, she used a collection of 276 found images, each cataloged as a number. For example, the clown with the pointy hat is number 247. The woman's head, number 118, is the artist's portrait done by someone in Central Park, which in our painting, she placed on Esther Williams' body. She reused and recombined images from her catalog in multiple paintings in different ways to achieve different meanings. It's up to us to make meaning out of the images from the way they relate to each other. In a 2015 lecture, Hammond stated that the figures are calling out their numbers. She's not sure why, but thinks maybe it's because she did this painting at the end of the summer when she would swim across the lake to a deli where you had to take a number. Here's our painting's title. Hammond titled her paintings Untitled with, in parentheses, a list of the numbers corresponding to the images she used. What's your interpretation and what would you title this painting? Do you see any benefit to looking at art that makes you feel uneasy? Thanks for stopping by.